sometimes when we define classes, classes that form uh, some sort of hierarchy, we want uh, a method defined on top to be overridden in those classes that um, extend the class on top. Um, it is very common to define a method on top and then override it in those classes that extend the base class. The problem uh, template provides a solution for is how to define that method in a way that will allow us to override only parts of the method, meaning that only parts of, uh, of the code the method includes. Well, in order to do it, we just need to define our method in the base class as a method that includes invocation of other methods, as well as uh, code of itself. For example, we could, for instance, in this case, do something like this. and then break down uh, the code of two string into two separated methods. Doing so we can now override just one of those methods toString includes their invocation. You can imagine toString as a method that includes inv uh, code that calls more methods and doing so in those classes that extend shape we can override just those methods that represent part of the of the method toString we are dealing with and this way change the behavior of two string uh, uh, only in parts of uh, its um, executed code. In this code sample we have the class uh, shape, it includes the definition for two string and two string includes definition includes invocation of two methods, get message and area. Area also happen to be an abstract method. Two string method defined in shape is inherited to those classes that extend shape, such as circle, rectangle, and maybe a few others. So when we um, invoke the two string on a, a specific object instantiated from one of those classes that extend shape, the two string, the method on top, is invoked because it is iner inherited and its code, since it includes invocation of other methods, each one of those other methods, uh, the version that will be invoked is the most appropriate one according to the object on which uh, toString was invoked. So in the case of invoking toString on a rectangle object, um, when we see the call for get message, we shall get an invocation of this get message and a and the invocation uh, for executing area, it will be actually an invocation of the area method, this area method that was defined in rectangle. Let's take a look how does it work. Here it is. This is the outcome.